All right, guys, here we've got a uh, do-it-yourself video for iliotibial band pain. So we're looking at pain on the outside of the knee, um, down at the end of the femur. So what we're going to do is take uh, three eye strips. The first one, we're just going to measure it roughly 10 centimeters below the knee to about 10 centimeters above the knee um, and cut it into an eye strip by rounding the corners. Um, and then we're going to start by tearing the actual backing paper five centimeters from one end. So we're going to anchor that just below the knee, about 10 centimeters below the knee, so that we've got even tape above the knee and below the knee. And make sure that you rub that adhesive or rub the actual back of the tape to activate that adhesive. Next thing, grab the backing paper and peel it back, leaving about five centimeters of um, backing paper still attached so that we can hold on to it. And we're going to bend the knee slightly, but we're also taking the knee in towards the other side. So we're stretching that outside portion of the leg. So it's brought across towards the left side of the body. And we're just slowly applying that tape with minimal stretch. Now, if we can't get much stretch on the tissues, we need to apply more stretch to the tape. If we can stretch the leg by bending the knee a bit and taking it across, then we don't need to put much stretch on. So once you've got it down, make sure you rub on that surface um, to activate that adhesive and always apply the ends with no tension. So now we've got two eye strips, both 15 centimeters, and make sure you round those corners so that it doesn't catch on clothing. And we're gonna tear those in the center, the backing paper down the center. And we're going to apply full available tension or 75% to 100% available tension to that center portion, keeping that area uh, stretched. And we're going to apply that directly over the area of pain. So we're assuming it's on that lateral uh, epicondyle, which is the lateral bump or the bump on the outside of the knee, that bony lump. So once we've applied the center strip with full tension, we apply those ends with no tension at all and rub the adhesive surface or rub the tape to activate that adhesive surface. Okay, taking the second eye strip, we're going to apply maximum tension again and apply over that same area, but try and direct the tape so that we don't have uh, the ends of the tape laying on other tape. So we want it laying down on skin. And once again, applying the ends with no tension at all. So that's our iliotibial band friction syndrome application for lateral knee pain.